Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Soberlab and today will be another video about TrueNAS. This video will explain a little bit more about TrueNAS scale, if you should use it, if you shouldn't use it and what you need to consider before you start to do an installation. In this way, at least you're gonna have in mind what you need to expect or what kind of system that you need to have before you start to get a, a any computer or anything that you want and install the TrueNAS scale. I return to post videos about TrueNAS scale and I will post a few of them because uh, in the previous time when I start to post and try to explain a little bit more about TrueNAS scale was in the beta version where I have lots of bugs and didn't work the way that I expect. Now that they are in the stable version, I expect that it will work better, more stable and will have less bugs so not frustrate anyone with some problems that uh, could be fixed or some problems that uh, should be fixed before. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told, in this video I not started to install TrueNAS and explain how you can configure it, how you can install this application, the other applications, because this one will be dedicated for the next videos. What I'm gonna do is explain why you want to install TrueNAS and why you want to install a specific TrueNAS SK relationship of TrueNAS Core or any other open system that work as a share network attach or a NAS system. Other thing that I will explain, I will explain why I started to use again true NAS scale, consider that I started to post some videos in the past and I stopped completely. And this one, it's easy because the true NAS scale was in the beta version where it was not stable, have too much bugs and this one was making me really stressed. And with uh, this announcement that I saw, few months ago, few weeks ago, but only now that I really have time to look and to try to understand and post it, or and start to post those videos. So in this way, we're gonna open here this web, web page. In the web page for TrueNAS, in the part of blog, they say TrueNAS scale get quality improvement with the third major upgrade. And what it means, August, 9th of August 2022, TrueNAS scale started to be the TrueNAS scale 20.02.3 where it's Angelfish and in this way they say that have a few upgrades and few bugs fixed. In this note they say that they have over 100 bugs that has been significantly improved and fixed. One of those is drive scalability improvements, numerous SNB improvements including improve uh, data set and shadow copies, security upgrades, drive resizings, open VCFS, web UI fix books and other things that they do but those they put as a uh, significant ones. And they say why you should use the TrueNAS? TrueNAS now it's uh, in the stage 3 and if I open here they explain a little bit more about how work the life cycle for this TrueNAS and how it's worked the life cycle for TrueNAS scale in relationship. This TrueNAS, this TrueNAS now it's in the release. They are not yet in the U3, but we're gonna understand a little bit more. So we're gonna look for this software development life cycle. Here, I read open they say how it's work, the analysis and what's the steps for each one. So initially it's only for developments, then the testers, enthusiasts, home users, general use. What we was doing was in the beta option. The beta option, they say that's major the way that's gonna be, but with a lot of bugs. Not a lot, some bugs. And that's with uh, uh, RC, they are only suitable for home user and general users. Now the TrueNAS scale it's in the release option. If you're using for your enterprise or business, you need to wait a little bit more, but for general publics or home users or people that want to try, now it's the time to use. So now I need to understand a little bit more about TrueNAS scale and what I need to have 
in relationship of my operand system. So if I come on here, get true NAS scale, and here they appear of all the information that now it's in the release note. So if I come here in release note, we can see which revisions that we are. So if I open here, now the revision is 20.02. If I go here down, they are released before when we was doing our trials. If I keep down here, we was using the beta version or alpha, I'm not sure which one, but we was using a no stable version, what uh, was not uh, stable, let, let's say. If I come here, and I start to understand what information that I have. The true NAS, it's a little bit more heavy than other open system. If I consider that I want to run an open media valve in relationship of true NAS, the true NAS need to have at least a dual core, you need to have at least eight gigabytes of RAM, and you need to have at least 16 gigabytes of uh, US. The 16 gigabytes of US, the open media valve who need more or less the same, the 80 gigabytes of run, no, definitely not. You can run either with one gigabyte of run, you can run open media file. The rest of run will use according of your applications. And the core and the process dual core, yes, is the minimum for both, but if you're gonna use the true NAS scale in a dual core, you run really slow and you are gonna have a lot of problems because it's not suitable for this system. Also, it's important to see why you need to use the true NAS in relationship for open media valve. The truth that uh, the true NAS they use it with uh, the open ZFS where it's uh, uh, more stable and a way to guarantee that your data is safe. So let's put a uh, consideration. If you want to have a really safe data that you can scramble or you can check if the data, the integrity of the data is still there, True NAS will be better. If you want to run a soft application, Open Media Val will be better. If you want to have more space, Open Media Val will run. Yes, will run, but only if you start to use the BFS. If you want to choose X4, they will have a limitation. The Open ZFS, you can run much more space. Which one that will have less legs? the true NAS because you can have an option to put cache in relationship of uh, the uh, open media valve you cannot do this cache you cannot use ssd as a cache only to keep all, all your data that you want to access more often so if you are only one user person in your house or few users in your house and the speed or the lag is not so much effect for your system yes open media valve will be better if you're using data that if you lose or has problem corruption data, you have another backup or you're not gonna lose so much information, so it's fine. The worst case that you can have in your house, it's you have a picture and the picture has been corrupted and the picture will have half of the picture visible and half is not visible. So the true NAS will guarantee that will not happen, but with a cost with more processor power and more run memory that you're gonna need. If you want to choose some easy applications, now the true NAS scale have the Docker, so you can run most of the application for the Docker, what increase the options of application that you can run in the true NAS. Other thing, now the true NAS scale, you can have cluster of uh, true NAS where you can have uh, more computers run parallel and this way you have more power. The open media value cannot do it. You need to have one computer that run all the application, another computer that run all the application, but ones that you want to connect both to run parallel. But before we continue to talk more, let's see how it look like this true NAS scale in a stable revision. So if I open here, they have uh, the true NAS scale where I already installed in a virtual machine. In this first video, installing a virtual machine because uh, I will not install anything. Only want to show how it look like. So here they will appear platform generic. They will only gonna appear as a specific platform if you buy the device for the, the true NAS. Otherwise, all the time that will be generic because it's a generic computer. Other thing, we are running the true NAS scale 20.02.4. One revision over that one that I show in the website because it's already a few 
months or a few weeks after the announcement. Here will appear some help. You can always come in the TrueNAS community forum and there they have lots of uh, information, lots of discussion, how you can do this, how you can do that. It's really useful. It's really useful. Principally, if you are not sure how to do something or you start to have some problems, you can go in the forum, post, and if someone will answer or sometimes they will either look for your problem, that could be more than one user with it, and try to fix it. Here will be my CPU, how much I'm using. I can select only specific information for CPU, but let's keep this one. I have a four cores only because um, I simulate it. I could use more, but I don't need in this stage. I have a 10.7 GB of uh, RAM memory, where I'm free 9.5 and uh, 1.1 I'm using with uh, service and ZFS. This system don't have anything installed. Once that I start to have a more virtualization, more apps or more storage, this quantum of service and ZFS cache, they will use more. As I told you, I don't have any pool and here will be the network that I'm using. It's strange that they still connect, but I'm not use anything at all. In this case, I have only one network connection, but if you have uh, several grades, non normally they will have more than one. Only to stability guarantee that in the case that one run memory fail, you have the second one. Or one cable or anything that fail one side, you still don't lose all your connection. And now we start to come a little bit of difference. In the TrueNAS core, it's a little bit different view. I don't know if it's this last revision is exactly the same, but the scale come with the storage where we're gonna put all the pools we can set up our snapshot, our disks, import an existing pool if you already have and only want to transfer for one tape or one system to another one. So here I will set up my SMB, my NFS, my blocks, my web dev and others. Data protection where you can set up any kind of data protection as a cloud sync, rsync, smart for verifying your hard drives, replications, snapshots, scrambled data, where they will check the integrity of your data. Also, you can connect it to a OpenVPN, where they will simulate that you are in the net other network. Credential, where you can create all your credentials, local users, uh, local connection, backup connection, certification, 2FA, all your virtualization. In the case of OpenMediaPal, you cannot virtualize at all. You cannot uh, do the cloud sync, rsync you have, replication you have, snapshot you don't have, scrum you don't have. So have some tools that in the open Java you don't have, and here you have, and vice versa. Apps. In this case, you cannot see all the apps because I didn't create a pool, so you cannot install everything. Maybe I can check a little bit of apps, yes. As a standard, they already come with some apps, but as I show in the other video, you can add a large library and you can install it. Reporting, you can check how much of your CPU you use in the last time, how much disk, how much memory, how much network, if you have any specific information, if your ZFS is connected, at least you can track how much of your hard drive it's using, how often they're using how much run memory and this way you can see ah, when all the users is using here it's come close for my limits in this way I should upgrade it my memory run other thing if you look the visual of the TrueNAS look like pre than the OpenMedia Val OpenMedia Val it's more simple and it's more lightweight the TrueNAS have more information but a little bit more heavy as well and in the end, you can have in the system, you can have upda updates, general, advanced, boot, service, shell, and others. So in this way, I show a little bit more about the TrueNAS and how it will look like. But remember, this video was only for you have an idea and understand why you want to install the TrueNAS in your system. If you have a really old system, forget. If you have a better system, yes, go to the TrueNAS and try it. And in the next videos, I will start to install again the TrueNAS scale, set up everything from basics, and start to install all these applications in TrueNAS. In this way, you understand how you can do it and how you can make work for your case. 
some of the applications that are installed in TrueNAS Core using virtual machine. In this case of the TrueNAS scale, you don't need to do it. And this reason that we're gonna look again for those applications because we will save your life and make much easier and work more stable. You don't have need to have a virtual machine running. You can run directly in the Docker where the TrueNAS scale already have it. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.